Good morning, everybody. How are you guys doing today? Happy, Good morning. Happy Thursday. Happy uh, Thursday. Yeah, happy Thursday. I don't know. Anyway, so um, today's Thursday. We decided to do a video this morning uh, to let you know what we're smoking. Uh, we are smoking the Maria Lucia from Ace Prime, made by uh, Luciano. And I'm, I'm going to read this because... It's too early this morning and I am not functioning yet. Um, it has a Connecticut broadleaf wrapper with a double binder, double binder from Ecuadorian, which is Ecuadorian Sumatra and Ecuadorian HBN 92. It's a Havana 92, so it's a hybrid leaf that's, that's grown in Ecuador. Right, and then the fillers are going to be from uh, Dominican Republic, Nicaragua, and Peru. So there you go. This is a limited run cigar. Um, only for only those that went to the trade show were able to order this, and we have it here. Um, <clears throat> they made forty-eight thousand of these cigars. Four thousand boxes. Boxes. Four thousand boxes. Forty-eight thousand individual cigars. Oh, they're twelve count boxes. You're right. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm see. I told you. I'm not awake. I'm not awake. So, um, the reason we chose to smoke this today is, is Luciano's very much in our heart and our thoughts today. Um, as you know, we have the Ace Prime um, Crowned Heads event tomorrow evening. Uh, we were really excited because we had, we had planned this with Luciano. He was going to be here with us today. Um, tomorrow. Excuse me, tomorrow. Um, this particular cigar is in honor of his mother who passed away when he, he was, was 12. 12. Yeah. He was 12. So for the majority of his life, um, his grandmother raised really him. raised him. Uh, and, and now it's her time. She's getting so, close. So Luciano, um, he, was, he was very much torn um but um in the end he's he's he needs to stay with family down in brazil at this point in time um take care of his grandmother take care of his family and we completely wholeheartedly support that and understand that um at at some other point down the road we'll bring him in um <clears throat> but for now we're gonna smoke this in honor of him and his mother, his his relationship with his grandmother as well, and um, enjoy it. So, what are you getting? I'm getting like these these earthy earthy notes with these hints of pepper um, and some cedar background. In all honesty, this is a medium plus cigar. Um, if you're inexperienced, you can. You can smoke this on a full stomach, maybe with a, a, a light beverage on the side. Um, definitely has a long finish. I think the pepper comes out more in the finish than anything else. There's a little bit of a nuttiness that's there. Um, it's going quite well with my coffee. It's good. Your like Starbucks it. Pike coffee? Yeah. While I drink my... White mocha. White mocha chocolate. Anyway. With with three times the whipped cream. Mm -mm. We didn't do that. All that craziness. No. But okay. all in all, this is a great cigar. So we are having an event tomorrow. Um, please come out. Check out all the new cigars that are coming out from Crown Heads and Ace Prime. This, this is Ozinger. one of yeah. This is one of eight new cigars um, that that we put on the shelf to go with the event tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So in addition to the Maria Lucia, um, we've got the Dreamer in multiple sizes Correct. now. We've got the Pi Synesthesia from Tim Ozengar, as well as the Bosphorus mm -hmm. in two sizes. The uh, Fumata in C major. C major, yeah. Uh, the La Le Petitier. Yeah. Uh, the Adrian Gonzalez. Yes, done by Ace Prime under the MX, right. MXS series. And the Mas Igneous, meant to be paired with a red wine, another Luciano cigar. 
Um, really good stuff. We've we've sampled everything. We finally did the Adrian Gonzalez for the yes. first time yesterday. Nice floral note yeah. in there, um, very, especially very that much. retro hail. Um, yeah, it's a great, great, easy cigar. It's a medium. I mean, it's a it's a medium, maybe slightly less than a medium, but very tasty. Very tasty. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so tomorrow, crowned heads, Ace Prime. Uh, Miguel will be here. Jake, our new rep, will be here. I don't mm -hmm. think he's come into the lounge no, yet. No, not yet. He has not been. So this no, will be his. I, I think he has in some other capacity. I believe he said he's been here in some know. other okay. capacity. But anyway, okay. but Jake will be here. He's our new uh, our new Crown Heads rep. As you know, of course, you know, Miguel being the national sales rep, he's got a huge territory. He but does. Anyway, he does. Um, they'll be here tomorrow. We're going to have full... Pulled beef, pulled chicken, for those of you who are uh, yep. pork. We'll do some sliders. Um, stuff. Yeah, we're going to do some sliders for that. Some salad, on, potato salad on the side and chips. Remember, blah, blah, blah. there's there's always two rows of parking in the back. Weather should be beautiful. Yeah. I suspect we might have some folks porch sitting tomorrow evening yeah. because it's going to be beautiful outside. Um, I got the centronella plants out there. Keep the bugs away. Hopefully. Um, we also will be opening up phase two for a sneak peek. Mm -hmm. So come on out and you can get your first look at what phase two is going to look like. All the drywall should be up. And then uh, it's a matter of mudding and painting and getting some tile in and, and pushing fixtures. forward. Yeah. yeah, fixtures. Pushing forward. So we're getting closer, guys. We're a excited. Lot closer. I'm not going to post pictures over there yet. I'm, I'm going to give people a sneak peek first, and then we'll post some pictures of Phase 2 online. Yeah. Um, what else to say? <sighs> God, you know, Ace Prime and Crown Heads have, have been partnering together for a few years now. Yeah. The first cigar that they released as a collaboration was the uh, Mil Diaz, Thousand Days. It took... Um, uh, the three master blenders, three years to uh, perfect that blend. Uh, great, great cigar, um, light side of medium, but so so much flavor, so much flavor, and uh, really good stuff. We've also got the new Las Calaveras available oh, in true. three the, sizes. The 2022 stick. version of the Las Calaveras is, is here, and it's also on the yep. wall. Yeah. Yep. So lots of good stuff. Yes. Um, please, guys, we, we hope to see you tomorrow. It's going to be a great evening. Um, five to nine is the time. Yep. I think that's about that's it. That's about all I got. All right. What do you, what do you say to uh, Luciano at this point uh, when, when his grandmother is passing? Do, is there something in Spanish that, that you would say to, I, you know, to wish him well? And I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know what to say. Okay, well, our heart goes out to you, Luciano. Um, again, you're, you're, we, we were fortunate enough to sit down with him for a couple of hours about two years ago. Uh, incredibly brilliant man, soft-spoken, so knowledgeable, uh, such a warm heart, and um, you know, I I feel like there's a little bit of a connection for us individually. Personally, I don't know. Yes. I don't know whether or not um, um, a lot of other people have gotten that opportunity with him, um, but we were really excited, and we we look forward. To better days for you, sir, and having you here at the lounge, enjoying a nice red wine and uh, that uh, Mas Ignias with you. Um, salud, my friend. Stay safe. Stay sane. And stay healthy. Salud. salud.